Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here, and today I thought I'd show you how to make a Minecraft house less boxy and more interesting. So I'm going to show you an example house here, and then we're going to actually take a box house and make it more interesting. So to start off with, if you look at this house and other houses that are a little more than a box, they have different planes working for them so as you can see like for instance right here I've made this part of the wall just come out a little bit just to give the facade of the building some interest and then this entranceway comes out even more so that's something that you can do to make the building less boxy and more interesting if we actually go inside I've done this on several levels in here so, as you can see, because we brought the facade out in front, there's, there's kind of a little nook right here inside. Also, I actually made the floor so it's kind of uh, layered as well. So, it, it drops down here in the center of the room. And if you look up at the uh, ceiling, I left kind of the, the roof so that it goes up and so that the uh, ceiling itself isn't just... A single plane so it makes it a little more interesting if we go outside here I did the same thing with this deck outside I kind of put a sunken level in here it's on multiple levels so anytime you put anything on multiple levels or have multiple planes coming out on the facade that adds interest another thing that you can do is by using different blocks and different textures even though this side is really pretty flat right here just a flat side there are different textures here and because of the textures it gives it a little more interest and a little more illusion that there is a little more depth to it now if you also look here I've put uh, the roof overhangs coming out and if you look I've also added a little bit of ornamentation so up here at the top this is just a fence that I actually put kind of upside down up there and I put these lanterns on it so that's uh, adding ornamentation can kind of add interest and make it look a little more dimensional if we go over to the side you'll see uh, I did the same thing with fencing up here and lights and I've actually where this column goes instead of having the roof end where the column is I, I've put an overhang there and if we go up here I've made the roof so that it's not flat anymore. So I've added some dimension to the roof as well. So all these kind of things add together to add interest and makes the house a lot less boxy. In fact, if you look at it from the top, you can see it's it's not square from the top or, or rectangular. It's kind of a... Uh, I don't even know what you would call that shape. But it's not a uh, it's it's not just a box from the top. It doesn't even look boxy just down from the top. So now we're going to just go over here. And here I've just built a box to start off with. And I'm going to show you how can, we can add more interest to this. This is pretty much kind of the first house or shelter uh, everybody builds pretty much it's, it's a box like this except of course it has a door and maybe a window in it so let's start out and just put a door in this and we're gonna put uh, say a window there and a window on either side and I'm gonna just put a plain door in here so this is a basic shelter right here and we can go in side of the shelter And it's just a box, right, with a couple of windows. But even though this is a very small house, and it's just a box, we can do a lot to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's start to do a few things to add some interest to this. Uh, one thing we can do is we can change the roof around a little bit. So the roof... We're going to use these half slabs, and half slabs are a good way to kind of uh, add a little more shape to a house, because if you build everything out of blocks, things are going to be 
more blocky, but if you have half blocks and full blocks, it actually can add a lot. So I'm going to just quickly go here and make a, uh, a roof and give it a little bit of dimension. Now, because this is a different color and texture, already it's kind of adding a little something to the house. But we're going to also put an overhang out here, so we're going to start to work with different planes or facades on this by just adding this little bit here. All right, so we've got kind of a little bit of an overhang here. It's starting to add a little bit of interest. Let's go up here, and we're going to make the roof uh, a little less flat. All right, so by adding kind of a pyramided shape here with half slabs, we've made the roof look a little bit more interesting, and the house looks slightly interesting. It's still kind of symmetrical and dull down here on the front, though. So let's uh, do some rearranging. I'm going to take that window out and take this door out, and I'm going to make the door over here. So let's place the door over here. So it's a little less symmetrical looking. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, bring out part of the front here. So instead of just having this flat front here, let's uh, let's pull out Pull out the front and let's add a little bit more of a roof here. It's already looking a little bit better. We're going to actually use a different texture now and put actually a glass window to add a little bit of interest in there. Let's go inside and we need to kind of break this out right here. So we have um, a uh, very small house still, but we're beginning to add a little bit of entrance to it. In fact, let's uh, knock that out just to give the inside a little bit more interest as well. So it's starting to shape up a little bit. And in fact, let's, uh, let's uh, do a little something with the roof here. Let's put a little bit of an overhang out here. And I'm also going to put a column, but instead of putting it at the edge like this, which tends to make it more boxy, we're going to uh, put it in one block on either side so there's a bit of an overhang here. And so uh, that makes it already look a little bit more interesting. Uh, it's, it's no longer just a boxy shape. But we can add a little bit more to it, actually. So let's go over here and... Uh, if we wanted to, we can act, add some more shape to the front of the roof, or we can just leave it flat like that. Um, the other thing we can do is we can pull out the side a little bit. We can add this like that. So that makes the side less flat over here. Now if we go back inside again, You can actually uh, take out some blocks on the inside and give the space a little more dimension on the inside as well, and maybe just put a uh, window right here. And if we go back outside over here, see that's a little more interesting as far as the inside and the outside go. 
The other thing we can do is we can uh, add a couple of lanterns in here, maybe one up there in the corner. The other thing we can do is we don't need these blocks in here because there's a roof above us. So we can start to tap out some of these blocks from the inside. Make the uh, ceiling a little bit higher. And because we have a uh, roof that goes up in a pyramid, we can actually take some of these blocks out on the inside as well. Gotta be a little bit careful. Some more half blocks up there. And we can actually sculpt it a little bit from the inside here. All right, so that makes the ceiling higher and a little more interesting. And we have a different color of ceiling and different texture there. It's really shaping up. It's no longer just a cube. It's not a super fancy house and it's pretty small, but it's, but it's a little more interesting than just a cube. The other thing we can do is we can get rid of this kind of plain door. And we've got a lot of different door uh, colors and shapes and, and, and textures. So let's uh, put use one of these doors right here. And so that's a little bit different. So that adds a little something to it. It matches the color of the roof. And then the other thing we can do is we can uh, put a wood floor in here. And I'm going to use a different color of wood for the floor as well. This is a lighter floor. And so it adds some contrast between the walls and the ceiling. And it kind of makes the place a little bit brighter having the lighter floor right here. All right, so it looks, it looks a lot better inside here now. Uh, we have a little interest to the inside. It's not just a cube or a box anymore. Uh, we have different textures for the walls, the ceilings, and the floor in different colors. Outside, we have a, uh, a roof that isn't just totally flat. We have some uh, overhangs and some facades coming out in various parts of the building. All right, so that's just a simple example, and we made just a plain box a lot more interesting. I'm Mungo Dark Manor, and this has been Dark Banners, and whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.